everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I've come on tonight to do um, another episode of the Edith Holden Four Seasons um, Spring Journal. I want to make some journal cards and uh, some tags. So, I'm going to, so I'm going to make the tags for pockets that haven't gone on yet. <laughs> So we've made these journal cards and they're, they're, they've worked out very well. Um, and we've got a little envelope in there. So I wanted, I will put a, some sort of pocket here and I'm also going to put a pocket inside this gatefold here. In there. I, I just haven't decided what I'm going to put in yet. Um trying to kind of work it out because I don't want to cover up everything because the book the country diary of the Edwardian lady is so beautiful that you know I don't, don't really want to cover up too much of it but but I want to make um let's have a look so turn over the journal and I want to make some cards to go into these little envelopes here and I've got a piece of card like this and I thought if I cut that in half here like so this should actually fit in so I thought we'd make some out of those I could have cut that in half so um, yeah so we're going to do that and then I will have a pocket of some description here and then there will be one, as I say, inside the gatefold here. Um, don't think I'll put one there. Um, don't really want to put too much here, but we'll work it out as we go along. So um, let's get started. I've pulled that card out now. Okay. Okay, right. Let's put that to one side. Okay, so I'm just going to get the guillotine out. <laughs> the dreaded guillotine. Now that's got a slight little edge on it, so I don't really want that. So that slither off. That's good. Just checking that one I think needs straightening up slightly. Right. Okay. So for the tags, I was looking through my stash. And I found these, which I thought were nice colours. And I want various sizes. So I've, I've used the cropper dial off camera and I've put um, uh, mm, eyelet, never remember the word, eyelet in those two. And that one already had an eyelet in. I don't know where it came from. Um, but I don't know if it came in some... Happy Mail or something. I don't, I can't remember. Anyway, so I want to decorate those and I want to do these. So these, I'm going to round the corners of these, I think. Because they're going into those small envelopes. So I think I'm going to use the 10 millimeter because I like that size. Ah, so tonight, it's Thursday night, so this will go up tomorrow. Um, it's been a week, hasn't it? <laughs> Goodness me. Awful things in the news. So I'm going to ink round them. Oh gosh, the lid wasn't on in the vintage photo. It's been a busy old week. It's been busy at work. I've uh, had a lot of 
things going on. And uh, I'll be honest, I was glad to get home today. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone else is doing okay. Right, oh, while we've got the ink out, let's just ink down these while we're at it. I was forgetting those, wasn't I? Right. Oh, they're nice colours. I've got a tin with tags like these in. Uh, I must have bought them somewhere along the way. Uh, these bigger ones. And they had string in them, which I wasn't keen on. You know, the white thread, thready sort of string. Um, so I took that out. So that's that's what was in the top of the, both of those bigger ones. I could dye that, actually. And that, that will probably be fine. But it's very thin. I just, I don't know, it just didn't seem to fit into my, my mind. <laughs> So I told my husband after dinner tonight I'm going upstairs to craft so I think he, he was okay. He, he's not keen on me doing it every night really, you know, understandably I guess. But um, I think uh, I just said, you know, I, need, I want to just, felt in the mood actually even though I've been to work all day. I actually felt, you know, right, let's go. Let's get upstairs. <laughs> so as soon as I'd had dinner, I was off like a a rabbit out of a trap. <laughs> or a, what do they call it? A greyhound out of a trap, I think is the word. Right, so let's have a look. So I thought with these, if I get my glue book out, the scrappy do glue book. It's very scrappy now. Um, I might do a little bit of stenciling on these for the edges mainly. So I've got out my one of my doily um, stencils. So I like this. I just want to do kind of a little light, mainly kind of round the edges because um, we're going to put something on here. So I've got out my wild honey distress oxide I thought that was a nice spring like colour um, but I'm not going to go too heavy handed on it and that hasn't even gone through oh that's pretty so now I've seen it I am going to just go around the edges like that perhaps a bit more down here Oh, that's, I like that. It's very pretty. We could do a little bit on the back as well, so it's got some interest for journaling on. Just a little bit. Good. That's good. Right, let's do this one. I hardly use these um, oxides, really. I always seem to go for the same old vintage photo, mainly. So it's actually nice to get something different out. Let's turn that over. This is a new dobber head. So that's the only reason I'm really pressing and rubbing it hard in that pad because um, when you've got a new one, I, I don't know about you, it seems to take a while to actually take on any ink. Right. Okay, let's put that away. Hmm. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so I thought we have some... Edith Holden writing in the background and this is a page, double page out of 
the Country Diary. I uh, wasn't too keen on those Aram. Not sure what they're called. Uh, not sure what they're called, but I wasn't too keen on those actually. Um, they remind me of those plants that open up and catch flies for some reason. <laughs> so I thought I'm just going to use my ruler and tear down a bit of this. a board around it which is why I stenciled something like that really I think this one let's do this one so paddy dogs down with with his daddy <laughs> probably watching some nonsense on the telly <laughs> my husband likes those police programs you know where they go out with a cameraman catching on duty catching various criminals he loves all those police camera action and all of that um, it's one of his favourite programmes actually and I don't like it at all is um, all about bailiffs um, trying to get tenants out of rented accommodation where they've actually trashed somebody's lovely house that they had all you know decorated and renovated and all of that and it was kind of beautiful to start with and then they rent it out to people who A, don't pay the rent and B, trash it. So I'm going to get these down. So I try, I'm going to try different glue. I found some Kalau, but it's quick dry tacky. Now, I wasn't keen on the Kalau wet glue, as you know. And I found that it made the paper buckle up. So I'm going to try this tacky. It's supposed to be um, quick dry. So we'll see if it is. Let's just put that on, on there and give that a wipe. Yeah, you see, the wet glue, I didn't like. I like the fact that you've got wiggle room. But only if it's going to dry quickly and let me then put something else on it, you know, without moving. So that's that one. So we'll give it a go. Uh, it wasn't wasn't expensive, but there's still no art glitter glue available. Only the massive big bottles of that are about 30, well, they vary from 26 to 30 pounds. Well, 36 pounds actually. Um, so, uh, I wonder if it's better if I just spread it around the edges like that. And um, I don't particularly want to pay that because I don't know. I have to kind of, you know, try and sell something in the shop really now that I've got an Etsy shop before I start spending absolutely loads every month on stuff, I think. So I thought, well, well, that has stuck already, so that's good. So we might get on, you and me. <laughs> okay, so that's the first layer. And then to think about some things to go on these. So I've got some fussy cuts here, which I quite like. That one's a little bit tall. But I quite like those. Um, but they need something else behind them. And 
And I've got some music paper here. Not much. Well, I have got more. Just not got much out. This is what I've got on my desk. Let's just take that off. And let's see. We have a piece. I'm thinking of maybe just tearing a bit off I might have gone too far we will see um, thinking of having that in half like so so I have another little panel in the background I think yeah so it's been a bit of a funny week really uh, weather's been not very nice on and off sunshine has been like coming out but absolutely been bitterly cold uh, and quite windy again here in the southeast so I don't really know you don't really know what to wear you know like when I was in the office today I was in the kitchen and washing my cup and <laughs> before coming home and there was one of my colleagues she works for orth trauma and orthopedics she uh, had a lovely like summer dress on <laughs> i thought oh i never know what clothes to wear really I, I, i'd gone like with layers on because our office doesn't have any heat in it whatsoever um and uh even took my cardigan with me so Right, a, yeah, I think this glue is going to be okay. All right, let's see what that looks like. All right, I like that now because spring is very gentle, I think, you know. All the yellows and the spring greens. We've got some very lovely tulips in the garden. They're out. And they are yellow with like a little pale red stripe in them they're very very pretty and then we've had snowdrops and we've got some um of the small daffodils i think they're called um cheerfulness or something they're really tiny little heads but they're very pretty and we've got some of those out so um that little tendril down there so so it's looking quite you know spring-like at the moment and obviously all the clematis and um honeysuckle and everything are all budding up and got some nice birds coming to the bird table so it's all really nice at the moment fascinating I, I love watching the birds right I might have to trim that that one down so oh very very awkward so I think we will trim uh, I'm using a bit of kitchen towel I, I don't think I've got a dry wipe left. I think I threw mine. Oh, there is one over here. That's good because that's better than kitchen towel, actually. Okay, let's cut this off. Right, okay, so. That is, I think, quite um, delicate looking. Now, I'm going into those envelopes, which flap up. So I think they'll have a tab here and here. So I think we'll just put a little bit of um, lace on or something like this. Nothing too, too 
too big. I think um, oh, there's a hair on that. I think if I cut that in half, let's have a look and cut that in half again. I think that might just about be enough if we don't want anything too heavy. As long as it doesn't come undone. Um, where's my Beacon 3 in 1? I bought a new bottle of that too. It's, I found it the best for material, really. So we're just eyeballing the centre of it. My hands are very gluey already with that. Tacky Kalau, and I'm just going to. Well, I think that's closed itself up, so I think that's. I think that's okay. That's one. Let's just do this one. So. Good way to use up a scrap. So that must stay up that way, right? One on first. That's it. So you have to match kind of thing at the top. Moving that one along. Okay, right, that's those done. Okay, then I wanted to put, oh, just going to get that bit of glue off of that pin. So I still haven't found the lid. Believe it or not, and it's a red lid. You know, the lid is is that lid? But it's disappeared down a black hole. It's very strange how some things can just disappear into the ether, and you never see them again. <laughs> okay, so let's put something on a word or a label or some little thing. Um, oh, sorry, I just accidentally knocked the camera. Let's have a look at some. Uh, I think nothing small enough there. stand up and put that back on the shelf so excuse me hope you don't see me I'm in my pajamas <laughs> black and white and spotty <laughs> but it's lovely to come home and get out of your daytime clothes <laughs> okay let's see what have we got in here these are these Tim Holt snippets I've still got umpteen of them <laughs> Never seem to use them up. <laughs> so there's tiny, tiny little label things here, which are nice. Those are all blank. Let's see. Let's 
these little ones have got kind of um that one's got a butterfly on it that one's got a mush set of mushrooms they're quite nice let's think round those they're rough cut that's how they came in the so i'm going to leave them like that and that one there and maybe we'll find some other sort of labely thing maybe to go like that let's see if there's anything with a bit more interest on it something a different colour I mean really that's going to stand out a bit better Oh, look, there's a number five there. It's quite nice. You can hear my husband rustling in the cupboard. He's obviously gone out there to get something to eat. We've not long had our dinner. That's really naughty, isn't it? Let's see. Well, the cat's away. <laughs> the mice will play. Uh, can't really see anything that... Uh, thrills me enough to put it on. Let's see what these are here. Oh, straight away I've seen one that I I like instead of that one, which is this one here. I don't think we've got any other little numbers in here. I've probably used those up at some point. I don't know why I feel like I need to make them kind of the same, you know. But that's ridiculous, isn't it, really? They could be what they want to be. So... I think we're going to use that stamp. Right. I'm going to ink round this little tiny Tim Holtz partial postage stamp. Let's just get a bit more ink on that just to make them stand out just that bit more. I'm going to do the same with that one, this side, because they're kind of a plain colour, really. Okay, so that says Specimen Paris on it. Okay, let's get these down. I'm not sure about this number five, you know. I'm going to put it in my pot that's on my desk and see if I've got anything else that I prefer. Okay, I've got a pot with bits in that I don't really put away. 
Um, so something small, really. Okay, let's try that. I like that better. Okay, so I quite like that. What do I see? I'm very... See, I like those. Let's take these off, right? I like those. Okay. So do I want those? Do I want them on their own? Maybe a little bit of washi tape, perhaps, on the bottom. I just feel like there needs to be something along the bottom. So... Okay, I've got some here. I've still got some out from... I sort of got a selection out for this the um, project really so I'm going to take a piece of this let's give the edges a bit of ink oh it's very sticky indeed gosh that's stuck to my hand too much when you don't want it to stick, it does. And when you want it to stick, it kind of um, needs glue. So, okay. So that's, that's better. I think I'm just going to put that down like that. I mean, oh gosh, that's come out. That has come out very, very blobby. <laughs> so although it's tackier than the Kalau, the other Kalau I had, it's still um, so I don't want to make them too bulky to go into those little envelopes. Yeah, this even though this is tacky, definitely tackier, it's coming out really, really far. So I'll have to see if I can shut down the uh, closure on it. A little bit, because so it swivels up. So maybe I've got it up a bit too high. A bit of this stamp on. Gosh, that's a bit too much. Okay, everything is sticking to me. Oh. Gosh, let's put that up there. Is that up the right way? No, I could just see that postmark. It's got 4th of August on it, which is not really appropriate for spring, but never mind. <laughs> see, I can get very 
specific about things and think right well that shouldn't go on because it's not not the month for spring that's really too big and our battery and let's put a little bit of washi on this one Paddy was very naughty yesterday, Paddy Dog. He, um, when I say naughty, it's in his nature, I guess. Uh, I took him over the back behind our estate, little estate. And um, now I think this needs a stamp. And uh, I thought, oh, there's no one around, you know. I have to look to make sure there aren't any certain dogs, because some dogs around... They're off their lead and they're not very nice. But, and and if, if someone's over there with their dog and they've got them off the lead, but they're also playing with a ball, I don't let him off because he thinks that every ball he sees is his when it obviously isn't. So, um, which one? That one. Or that one. Go for that one. So I thought, oh, good. He said to him, I'll let, I'll let you off. So I let him off. And uh, suddenly he went hell for leather across to the back where there's like a little tunnel of trees. And he went by, and then I heard this screeching, and it was the pheasant. Every year we kind of have a pair around there and uh, they're often reaching about, you know. And um, he went chasing it. I've never seen a pheasant fly so quickly. They fly very low to the ground, but it absolutely flew as fast as it could. And he, he was like a greyhound. Anyway, I managed to get him back up to where I was and before I could put him back on lead he then darted back off to where the other one had come out and found another one in there and this time it went the opposite direction in into the field that the farmer's field that borders the area where we walk it's got barbed wire and um, he could just about squeeze under it so he was going mental and I, and I was absolutely frantic thinking he's going to um go into that field and i'm not going to get him back because obviously he's more jack russell than chihuahua very tall for jack russell actually more like a parsons jack russell apparently and um he uh if he went down a rabbit hole which is what really they're kind of designed for i think uh, I don't think I'd get him back very easily, so I was going frantic. Eventually, he came when he realised that he, you know, just before he started to go under the fence. And um, thank goodness, I so say he came straight over and stood while I put his lead back on because he knew, obviously, that that's what he needed to do. And um, I was so relieved, you know, so relieved. I was very naughty. And that's what puts me off letting him off the lead, really, because, so, you know, once he ran out of the little park and ran up the road around near to our house and, you know, some cars come round there and they don't pay any attention to, uh, especially couriers, as to whether there's any animal or child around so it's quite worrying anyway I managed to get him back so that was that panic over then I came home from work today and I went straight back out with him um because he'd been in while we were out um and uh 
not for long because I didn't I left work at lunchtime so um we went round there and I thought why oh, well, I better not let him off today because he'll just go straight to where he thinks those pheasants are you know he's very crafty like that he doesn't forget anything and um I was round there with him and there's no one around and then suddenly behind me appeared this man it really sh sort of spooked me he kind of came out of nowhere wasn't sure what he was doing he seemed fairly well dressed and he kind of kept staring at me but it was the way he because Paddy normally alerts me to anyone around and um, he didn't it Paddy didn't seem to be aware of this chap at all and um, anyway, this chap walked past me and he went to the area where these pheasants had been. And um, he uh, disappeared behind this little line of trees. It's like a bit of a tunnel. And um, then proceeded to go towards the area of uh, um, barbed wire. And he disappeared. I couldn't see clearly, but it looked to me like he'd gone through the barbed wire somehow. And, and he wasn't dressed for that, really, because he'd got like a normal, like, um, crombie type coat on. He had a flat cap on. He was fairly youngish, I'd say in his 30s. He did look a bit odd at me. Um, and I did get a bad vibe off him. I don't know why, but I just did. I do that with people I, I pick up kind of vibes from them you know and um and I just thought oh there's something about you I'm not keen on and why is Paddy not even raised an eyebrow because normally he'd be wagging his tail and trying to reach over to get to whoever it was because he likes to say hello to everybody you know regardless of whether they want to say hello to him and um, there's just something and my heart was thudding because when I was a child I had a couple of horrible experiences um, different occasions but on one occasion this man tried to take me my mum luckily enough was we were walking to school I was only about five and um, I was walking ahead you see just, just you know skipping along really I guess kind of vaguely remember it now she was lagged behind because she was talking to another mum and this guy came out of this um, building site and came up to me and tried to take my hand and wanted to take me with him you know kind of thing I don't remember what he said but luckily enough my mum spotted it and shouted and he ran off but you know it's kind of made me very wary of people and this guy made me feel very very um spooked i don't know i can't explain it it was most peculiar never seen the guy before now i get to know all the people that go around there with the dogs because they all live in and around this little estate and the one you know, when we turn out of hours, there's a, a road of houses and, you know, anyone who's got a dog, you get to know them kind of thing. Um, even the people that live further in down in the village. And it was just very odd indeed. The whole thing was very, very odd. And I don't know. And that's private property, you know, where he went. That's... um farmer's field so and there's barbed wire for a reason barbed wire usually denotes don't don't come in here you know so uh i was troubled i asked my husband when he came home from work if he'd if he'd seen anyone answering that description ever when he'd been round there with paddy um, and he said he hadn't 
and it's very odd for somebody to be around there and not actually have a dog or uh, they might go around there just to have a walk but never usually it and that's what I initially thought he was doing but I have no idea why he would have gone through that barbed wire fence and where he thought he was going because as I say it's it's private property um, I certainly wouldn't think about going around the, in the field you know and the field that he'd gone into it was like a it's like a meadow it's not exactly short grass and he wasn't dressed for scrabbling about in long grass and all of that so it seemed a bit odd altogether so I didn't hang around because I'd come home from work early but to work from home in the afternoon so we are allowed to do that if we've done everything we need to do in the office um still allowed to do that at the moment so it was just very strange did spook me I have to say right so I've got some fussy cuts out of the book um Oh, that's nice. I wonder if I could cut that down a bit, but then that's going to cover up completely that, isn't it? Uh, bird would be nice. That's nice. Well, let's have that one on there then. Um, and that bird is kind of a bit oddly shaped, really. I would need something to stand on. So what have we got? No, I don't think we'll have him today. Let's see, I've got this little one. Let's have that on here. Yeah, this is um maple blossom which comes out in spring. We could have that one on here and this is um holly blossom that comes out apparently particular holly tree that blossoms in the spring i don't know much about that um so we could have that one but we don't have a bird for it so um do we have We have a butterfly, do you think? Just by my pot. Having pots is not the best idea for me because I've got a pot for this and a pot for that. <laughs> but I didn't think to get it out because that's very odd. I wonder what's happened to that. Something else has disappeared. I had it out last video I did. Alright, there it is. Okay. okay, let's see if we've got... There's a wagtail there. It's nice. Uh, well, perhaps we will have a butterfly on this one. Have I got a smaller butterfly than that one? Let's have a quick look. Got a nice pink flamingo. <laughs> yeah, that's the same size. Ah, oh, there's one that's a little bit smaller. That's okay. Right. Let's go with those. Okay, so we need to ink around these. I think before I do that, I'm going to um, bring that stencil back out. And this time, use the vintage photo, but I just want to put a little bit of kind of interest around the edge of, of it really I 
Yes, that was a very odd experience indeed. I don't really know how to describe it. But I shall be looking out for him again, I must admit. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. So we'll do the other two in the same. Perhaps we'll just have a different part of it. Some people are odd, aren't they? I mean, before COVID, there used to be a very elderly lady that used to not have a dog. But she used to, and she was quite miserable. So I'd say hello to her. And she just run, you know, not even want to talk, never even look at me. And I just think some people like to be left alone. So, you know, maybe it's a good thing just to not force yourself on someone. Um, but then there was a chap that used to also, because um, the land that these houses are built on, was part of there used to years ago in stone village be a mental health hospital and uh with inpatients you know that kind of resided in it and it was shut down like most of them in the in the community were a few years ago and um i often wondered if if he was a patient you know this guy now, do I want that one on here, or do you want this clover that's got a butterfly with it? I think we'll go for this one, and we'll see whether we can... I may have to. What if I took that leaf off? What it, would it look like? It's just fussy cut inside there. Yeah, so I... um. And the, and the funny thing is, since since lock, first lockdown and never since, they've never been around. So I hope that doesn't mean something awful happened to them both. They weren't together. It was just different times. I remember the lady was quite grumpy one day and she asked me about Paddy. And he was only a puppy because he wanted to wag his tail and go and see her. And she obviously didn't want him near her. She said she lived next door to somebody who had a very yappy dog. And I said, well, you know, he, he doesn't really, only if the postman comes or or the couriers. But I said, you know, he's just doing his job, really. So I'm going to have to take off this side shoot. So, unfortunately, I wonder if I take it off... Just trim down there whether I can put it back in somehow but behind there like that because it does need that balance okay all right just ink round the edges of this just a light touch Yeah, so I'll be on my guard for a bit now. My husband said to me, where's that little alarm I bought you? Um, I you know, assumed you were taking that out with you. And I said, well, I didn't really think I needed it round the back. It's literally feet, you know, I don't know, about two, two, three yards away from our house. You know, it's just... We've got we've got a little estate that we live on. It's a circular estate, so you can get, you know, round it either way, and um, and it's a little park area at the back that was just obviously a spare bit of land that they try and incorporate somewhere for recreation. You know, these days when they build houses, and um, it's lovely. It's got some lovely trees. There's blossom. It's all. Oh, it's beautiful. I love going around there. I find it very, very peaceful, you know. Um, certainly don't want to be on the lookout for somebody. I still don't know why Paddy didn't even pay him any, any attention whatsoever. 
He didn't even seem to acknowledge that he was there, which is most unlike Paddy. Um, I mean, I did say hello to the guy because he was looking straight at me and I just felt rude not to. But um, he didn't even, his face didn't even change, you know, it didn't, didn't seem to register I was there. So it's very odd. Right, I'm waffling, aren't I? Okay, so we're gonna put this butterfly on. Okay, that's one there, and then we said we would have this little chap on, and I think he's a, uh, hmm, what is he? I think I kept the word that went with him, it's not a lark. I think he's a stone chap, yes, he's a stone chap. So, well, this is better since I closed it a bit. Right. Let's put him up like that. Like so. Maybe we'll cut that word out and have that on there. So that can go on that one in a minute and and this one here, this is a this is a female, I think, of a lark. No, this is a female stone chat actually. So there's the male on that one, and this one's the female. The males are always more brightly coloured, aren't they? Okay, so... Right. Oh, I feel really hot. We haven't got a heating one, I don't know why. But husband made dinner tonight when he got in. And he made a stir fry and it was um a Thai green curry stir fry but it was a little bit on the hot side for me and I'm wondering if that's made me hot <laughs> made me hotter than I was can't complain though can I <laughs> not when he cooked He's better at stir fries than me, so usually if we're going to have a stir fry in the week, he buys all the, you know, the chicken. We had a chicken, it was chicken breasts, and he, I don't like touching chicken. Some, you know, always had a thing about it, so <laughs> um, he will do the stir fry. He's better at it than me. Okay, so we're going to have that little word there and we'll put that on the back of some of this. I love this webbing, really do. Oh, I wondered why I couldn't cut it very well. Wrong scissors. Just 
have a little bit, it's only a small word. I keep all the bits, oh, when they're not stuck to my fingers, that is. So, I think we'll, oh, I think we might put that up here. Yeah, that's pretty. So that's one. And then what was it going to have on this? So, uh, now I'm just looking to see if I kept any of the words from the these bits. So that's swallows and the lark. This is the lark here. Um, what have we got? So we've got this one. <laughs> it's spring. That's nice, isn't it? This is one of Junk with Steph um, word sheets. Where's my pin for that? Let's put that on. Actually, I'm going to just remembered I want to put this onto the um, some of that webbing so gosh I hope I haven't run over time I must get myself a proper time I've got Alexa but I don't know she can be a bit of a nuisance at times. I should have asked her to put a timer on, shouldn't I? So that's nice. It's spring. I like that. And then what word can we have on this one? Oh, I know, this is nice, this one, free to fly. So again, this is from that same sheet from Junk with Steph from her Etsy shop. So Just check, see how long that is. I do like to see a bit coming out, but not too much. Hope I'm in shot <laughs> because I've got a big, I've got the main light on, and I've got a big light on, which is literally just above this desk. Once the big desk lights on, I can't really see the screen of my phone very well. Uh, so I have to hope that's why I can't see the time. So. Okay, let's just cut these glues and the last thing we will do is so those are done those are ready might add something else to them eventually I don't know um, I was going to get rid of that find some toppers so in this bag I've got some bits so I've got this lovely beautiful sort of spring green eyelash trim which I think might go nicely on this one actually as a contrast so 
very difficult to pull it through the loop when you've got glue on your hands. So that didn't work. Okay, so we will just put one end through then and we will tie it. Oh, my hands are sick. Oh dear. Oh gosh, I couldn't even manage to do that. Come on. Oh dear me. Right. Okay, let's just trim that bit because it seems to be unraveling itself. Somehow, I think. Right, okay. That's better. Another one for luck. Right. That one, and I've got, I've got some of this seam binding, so I'll put this on the other two. This is splattered ink is seam binding, which I love. She kind of the way she dyes it, it makes it almost tie dye. So that's that one. I might cut that down, I don't know. Um, and I should have one more piece in here. So I'll just put these all in this little bag so they're not all over the desk. And there are things that I wanted to use for the spring journal. Excuse the rustling sound. Just cut that one a bit shorter. I don't like you know too much waste but it goes in the scrap jar but the scrap jar is full up okay that's better so i think we better cut this one down out there that's better right okay all right well i hope you enjoyed that so fibers everywhere now we have three tags and two journal cards so far and then i might do one more um ephemera making for the spring journal and then and i'm Obviously, then there's got to be an episode for putting together um, the envelope folio for the summer journal. So, there we are. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for joining me. And um, enjoy the rest of your week. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. <laughs>